Good afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jesse Hawila. We'll get you right back to the Little, uh, Little Lead World Series here in just a second, but we want to give you an update on Hurricane Ida, still a strong Category 4. It's made landfall in Louisiana just before noon today. Uh, we want to take a close look at what's happening because there's a couple of things to discuss. Number one is, yes, it's inland, but it's still a very strong hurricane with winds in excess of 140 miles an hour. The other thing is, New Orleans is right here. They've already seen some storm damage from the outer bands, but the worst uh, still on its way. So, you know, once this starts to lift to the north over the next few hours, New Orleans will really start to get into the thick of this. So right now the city of New Orleans uh, is still seeing some damaging wind gusts, but it's not as intense as it's going to be later on. The winds have gone down just a tad. It made landfall with winds of 150 miles per hour. That was just before noon today uh, near Port Fouchon, Louisiana. It's now winds are still 140 miles an hour, so it's still a category four hurricane and it's moving northwest at 11 miles per hour. So slowing down just a little bit. Uh, there's where the flooding rains will be on the north and east side of the hurricane. So New Orleans included in that current wind gust. If we take a look at New Orleans, we see winds of 67 miles an hour. Now that's plenty enough or that's plenty, plenty strong to do damage. And we've seen that in and around New Orleans, but the strongest winds right here uh, closer to the center of the hurricane. And again, that's still lifting north over the next few hours. So Ida will just bring worsening conditions to the city of New Orleans through this uh, late afternoon and into the evening. I want to take a live look here at downtown New Orleans. You can see the winds are, are pushing along pretty good there uh, against the palm trees. We don't have substantial damage yet. I fully expect that to change in the next few hours as stronger conditions move closer to the city. Uh, there's a live look again of downtown. You can see things getting worse. In fact, this is a lot worse than it looked just an hour ago. Uh, we had shots down there live of uh, near the French Quarter. Now we're just seeing some very heavy rain. The winds like we showed you gusting close to 70 miles an hour. That will almost double by the time we get to about five o'clock. There's the bridge looking over Lake Pontchartrain. You can see the water is extremely choppy there. And as you might imagine, no traffic allowed over that bridge because a uh, very good chance it goes underwater before long because of the, the, the storm surge will just get worse in the city as the eye of Ida moves closer and closer. I want to show you this as well. So we've shown you these live shots. I want to show you this video. This is from the hurricane hunters. Now this is incredible video. They are actually inside the eye of Hurricane Ida, and they do this to collect data. The importance of this uh, cannot be overstated. This is where they get inside of the hurricane, drop data collection instruments to give us the exact updates we need on how strong Ida is, how it's progressing. So again, this video was taken inside of the eye. You can see what we call the stadium effect of the clouds. As you might imagine, it looks like a stadium. You know, you get down there where the eye is, it looks a lot more calm. You actually see some clearing there in the center, uh, but then those cloud tops are just huge on just the outside of that near where the eye wall is and the winds are extreme. So let's get back out to this and show you those winds. That's where that plane was right in the center. Uh, winds at the surface close to 100 miles per hour now uh, near near port, uh, excuse me, near the port there, New Orleans 67. A wider view shows you that they're still hanging out below 100 miles per hour. But as that center moves farther inland, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Lafayette, uh, Homa will also see winds of 150 plus as this moves in. So the latest track we want to show you, there's really not much change here. We still expect a category two at seven o'clock. So it will it's weakening now. It will further weaken over the next few hours but still a category two with winds of 105. The center at that point moving very close to Baton Rouge. There's seven o'clock in the morning on Monday, still a tropical storm bringing uh, flooding rains to parts of Mississippi uh, before it becomes a tropical depression thereafter. 10 to 15 inches of rain widespread there in southern Louisiana, five to 10 for the entire state of Mississippi where soils are extremely saturated, so flash flooding a big concern. I'll quickly step out of the way here and show you that storm surge will be 10 to 16 feet like we've seen uh, in Grand Isle. Close to New Orleans, it'll be about 7 to 12 feet. I'm going to leave you with this. So this is actually imagery of, of Ida over the last 24 hours. You can see how much it's strengthened. And, and now here it is as a Category 4. Winds 140 miles per hour. This is the very latest advisory from 3 o'clock. Gusts still 185. It's moving northwest at 11 miles an hour. And again, it made landfall just before noon today near Port Fouchon, Louisiana. 
We will continue to have the very latest updates for you here on WFAA. News at 530, WFAA.com. That's 24 hours. Of course, download our app. It's free. Lots of information to find there. Follow us on